it appears that Tesla's death beam is not the only secret invention that supposedly disappears when he dies. On July 4, 1976, the celebration of America's bicentennial, a strange new signal is monitored on ham radio frequencies. This high-pitched chattering is dubbed the woodpecker signal by the Central Intelligence Agency. They have no idea what it is, but they are able to triangulate its source to a Soviet transmitter in Latvia. The Soviets had experimented with creating artificial aurora. Not sure what their objective was, but uh, I think it was probably uh, designed to prove that you could uh, project very low frequency energy over the horizon, over great distances, and cause certain effects. You can induce virtually any effect that a chemical can cause in a living system with a, um, an external, primarily extremely low frequency magnetic field. My personal feeling is that primarily, I think, it was designed to communicate with their submarines. On July 13, 1977, at 9.19 p.m., the woodpecker signal abruptly stops. A strange corona forms around Edison Electric power generators servicing New York City, and the entire city is suddenly plunged into darkness, creating chaos and confusion. The blackout is similar in its effects to Tesla's Colorado Springs experiment that overloads and sets ablaze the local electrical power plant. Uh, you know, things start to brown out. To the, this, uh, uh, we started seeing very strange things happen to New Yorkers who went berserk. Uh, it was literally absolutely dangerous to be there in New York City. And it was a headache for police and, and who knows, all the security people around. Was it Tesla's secret that electricity could alter the mental state of human beings? If so, was that secret delivered into the wrong hands? And who is responsible for the Tesla-inspired program known as HARP, a government project some experts believe is the first stage of an entirely new phase in weapons technology? War or peace? Which does science serve best? Tesla described himself not as an inventor, but as a discoverer. But with discovery comes responsibility. Tesla knew this when he developed HARP technology, and many think that his fear of what might happen if HARP fell into the wrong hands motivated him to keep his discovery under wraps. HARP exists because Tesla theorized back in the 30s that he would be able to stimulate the magnetic field of the Earth in such a way that he would actually be able to create a shield around the city. HARP is... Um, basically a design experiment in terms of atmospheric physics where a large array of antennas, it's not just one antenna, it's a very large array, it covers several acres, um, are broadcasting into the ionosphere of the planet a very, very complex series of waveforms. And these waveforms are designed to specifically couple in with the ionosphere, which is a resonant cavity. This concept involves heating up the ionosphere in a manner similar to a giant microwave oven. That a small input, like a pulse of a certain number of watts in, can create, create a large output because whether accidentally or intentionally, it's possible to tap into this sea of energy around us. It surrounds us and goes through our bodies and is everywhere throughout space. HARP's original designer conceives it as a shield for missile defense that can fry the circuitry of incoming bombs. HARP was designed to, uh, for a number of applications. It really was not set up as a weapon. Uh, if you read the patents, I was thinking of ways to use it defensively. He also claims that by superheating portions of the upper atmosphere, HARP can affect global weather patterns, a